Welcome to episode 20. Questions and answers are based on chapter 8, Fermentation of the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Please click the ads before skipping. Choose the best answer. How is fermented fish different from salted fish? A. Fermented fish undergoes a longer preservation process. B. Fermented fish retains its original shape. C. Salted fish has a higher salt content. D. Fermented fish becomes partly liquefied and loses its original shape. How is fermented fish different from salted fish? D. Fermented fish becomes partly liquefied and loses its original shape. What is the purpose of adding salt to the fish during fermentation? A. To enhance the flavor of the fish. B. To prevent spoilage during fermentation. C. To facilitate the buildup of organic substances. D. To make the fish flesh firm. What is the purpose of adding salt to the fish during fermentation? B. To prevent spoilage during fermentation. What are some examples of fish sauces produced through fermentation? A. Soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. B. Tartar sauce and cocktail sauce. C. Fish sauce and shrimp paste. D. Barbecue sauce and ketchup. What are some examples of fish sauces produced through fermentation? C. Fish sauce and shrimp paste. How long does the fermentation process typically take for fish sauces? A. Few days to a week. B. One month. C. Six months to a year or more. D. Two years. How long does the fermentation process typically take for fish sauces? C. Six months to a year or more. What has contributed to the consumption of fermented fish in Southeast Asian countries, which necessitates the use of side dishes, which are small in quantity and highly salty? A. High quantities of rice consumption. B. Availability of fresh fish. C. Influence from European cuisine. D. Introduction of new cooking techniques. What has contributed to the consumption of fermented fish in Southeast Asian countries, which necessitates the use of side dishes, which are small in quantity and highly salty? A. High quantities of rice consumption. What is the local name for fish sauce in Cambodia and Vietnam? A. Nuk Mam. <coughs> B. Nam Pla. C. Ketchup Ikan. D. Patis. What is the local name for fish sauce in Cambodia and Vietnam? A. Nuk Mam. In which Southeast Asian country is fish sauce known as patis? A. Cambodia. B. Vietnam. C. Thailand. D. Philippines. In which Southeast Asian country is fish sauce known as patis? D. Philippines. How is patis primarily used in food preparation? A. As a main ingredient in soups and stews. B. As a marinade for grilling fish. C. As a dipping sauce for vegetables. D. As a condiment in various dishes. How is patis primarily used in food preparation? D. As a condiment in various dishes. Besides its use as a condiment, what other purpose does patis serve? A. It is used as a cheap protein source. B. It is used for preserving fish. 
C. It is used for pickling vegetables. D. It is used for making fish stock. Besides its use as a condiment, what other purpose does patis serve? A. It is used as a cheap protein source. What is the ingested residue of the partly liquefied fish called? A. Fish sauce. B. Fish paste. C. Terasi. D. Belachan. What is the undigested residue of the partly liquefied fish called? B. Fish paste. Please like and subscribe. What is the local name for fish paste in the Philippines? A. Terasi. B. Belachan. C. Pekasam. D. Bagoong. What is the local name for fish paste in the Philippines? D. Bagoong. What is the local name for fish paste in Indonesia? A. Terasi. B. Belachan. C. Pekasam. D. Plara. What is the local name for fish paste in Indonesia? A. Terasi. What is the local name for fish paste in Malaysia? A. Terasi. B. Belachan. C. Pekasam. D. Plara. What is the local name for fish paste in Malaysia? B. Belachan. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in the Philippines? A. Bagoong. B. Buro. C. Ginamos. D. Patis. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in the Philippines? B. Buro. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in Cambodia? A. Pak or Manchow. B. Plara. C. Pekasa. D. Nam Pla. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in Cambodia? A. Pak or Manchow. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in Thailand? A. Pak or Manchow. B. Plara. C. Pekasam. D. Nam Pla. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in Thailand? B. Pla Ra. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in Malaysia? A. Pak or Manchow. B. Pla Ra. C. Pekasam or Chenchalok. D. Nam Pla. What is the term used for fermented fish prepared with cereals as additives in Malaysia? C. Pekasam or Chenchalok. Which bacteria strains are responsible for the fermentation process in the preparation of fermented fish with cereals? A. Lactobacillus plantarum. B. Escherichia coli. C. Staphylococcus aureus. D. Salmonella enterica. Which bacteria strains are responsible for the fermentation process in the preparation of fermented fish with cereals? A. Lactobacillus plantarum. What is the main characteristic of good quality fish paste? A. Pungent odor. B. Watery consistency. C. Dark brown color. D. Pasty consistency. What is the main characteristic of good quality fish paste? D. Pasty consistency. Which of the following is not a characteristic of good quality fish paste? A. Cheesy otter. B. Completely disintegrated fish. C. Watery consistency. D. Pleasing taste. Which of the following is not a characteristic of good quality fish paste? C. Watery consistency. Don't forget to like!